Because I will say, though, there are some places, I will not name no names, that the food looks really, really good, but the food be trash. Catfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a food catfish. Do you think, do you think, do you think it's also because, um, like, when it comes to aesthetically pleasing food, like, that's why in anime, they always make a lot of it just uh, predominantly ch- Japanese food. Ooh, that's a great yeah. point. Because they're, like, all in the like cartoons, it looks good. Mm-hmm. And then mm. it usually, that's what it looks like in real life, too. You know what? I think so you're right. So it probably has some influence. I was going to say, it's like a psychology thing, low-key. I only uh-huh. know about this because they say, uh, like, did you guys, a couple years ago, there was this thing, <laughs> Payless opened the shoe store, but they renamed it called Palessi or something like that. So, so it sounded no. like some Italian, like <laughs> Italian shoe store. It's called Palessi. Okay, but they put Payless shoes in the store. Did they change the prices too? Yes, they changed the prices to essentially designer prices. Oh, and they interview people and they're like, oh, and and they would ask me, hey, are you do you like buying designer stuff? Yeah, I love buying designer stuff. Why? They ask them all these questions like, oh, the the quality. What do you think about this shoe? Oh. I can just tell it's, it's really well made. Uh, you know, the the, the, the stitching is great. <laughs> blah 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 trolls. blah. And they're like, "Oh, really?" They're like, "Yeah." And then later on, the video goes, "Yeah, this is actually all payless, right?" And it just basically put people in. It puts in your head that essentially people sell an experience. They don't. The quality okay. isn't that much difference. Okay, so it's a placebo. It's all placebo. A hundred percent a placebo. Like we we know this. You yeah. you go to Whole Foods. You go to Walmart. If you buy just just the raw ingredients, does it not taste the same? No. If I uh, I disagree. If if you buy, I don't know, chicken or a steak from Whole Foods, I'm not talking about grass fed or like all that special okay. stuff. Just a plain steak or plain chicken from Whole Foods or Walmart. Is it the same or is it different? I think it depends on what the food is. Like we thought, like when we talk about just chicken breast or like chicken thigh, it gonna taste the same. That's what no, that's that's what I mean. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That's what I mean. Marketing. Yeah, it's just the marketing. So if all these restaurants are essentially they're okay, I, I'm telling you, I bet every single Viet place is getting their noodles from the same place or their beef from the same place. Okay, yeah. Right. So they're just like, oh, let's just jazz it up a little stone pot. They okay. don't got that. Yeah. You said Viet. Um. I'm sorry, but the we said this before, but the Vietnamese food in New York City is absolutely trash. But it looked good though, yeah. right? I remember uh, me we went to a, a Vietnamese restaurant in in the city like a year or two ago. I'm not gonna call uh, say names because I don't want to call them out. Did we? Yeah, remember we Tiff? Oh, but that was like a fusion one. No, but it was like it was like a Vietnamese restaurant. Oh, oh looked, the second one, the second yeah, one. It the looked sec- really, yes, really, yeah. really, really yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. But it was so mid. It was not good. I wonder why. It's not good. I think part of it is like a lot of, um, they're like mixed owners, but still like Mm. there's not one that would try to perfect or like shape their recipe. I don't know. I don't know. know, But 